Hi, Naomi. I'm just getting back to you about your week five check-in. Um, I don't really have a lot to talk about on here because the, the answers were quite quick, but that's okay. It's good to get through the form. Um, you did put on there, you weren't really sure about your calories. Your calories are not changing yet. We are keeping you on 1500 calories. We don't want to cut our calories week to week to week if we're not seeing results. So in some of the feedback that we've got here is that you're not seeing any scale victories or sets, like your movement on the scales. To me, it sounds like you're probably not sticking to the calorie intake. Either that, or I know that you were um, having uh, less movement because of your sciatic pain. So making sure that we are tracking what we're eating is going to help. If you're eating the same foods and you know how many calories are in the meals that you're having, then it's gonna be more consistent. And you can say, okay, if I'm not losing weight at 1500 calories, then maybe I need to either A, increase my um, walking, my, cal my movement, my exercise, or I need to decrease my calories. A lot of the time, if I give you a calorie target of say 1400, which is low, or 1500, you're not really meeting that because of certain little bits here and there, snacks or little licks off the spoon, stuff like that. So if we can just stick to 1500 calories, I don't feel the need for you to drop your calories any lower. It might mean, even if you send through some photos of what you're, um, what you're uh, eating, drinking, everything in total, send it through to me or tracking it in MyFitnessPal just to make sure that it is on key. So keep with the calorie intake and trying to get those three to four exercise classes in per week would be awesome as well. Um, I'm loving that you're having a greater understanding of your portion sizes. So that's definitely a win or a takeaway. And relationship with food and eating habits, more aware of little things like olive oil spray instead of pouring. Um, I will be talking tonight about fats. So if you are going to be tuning into our Zoom meeting at seven, that's going to be a good one. Um, definitely more confident in your food choices, which is awesome. And what else have we got in here? Sticking to the 12 week challenge booklet. So ticking off the, the, um, meal plans and everything and making sure that you're sticking to it. Um, looks like you've been having a very, like a lot of work. So tiring days, 11 days straight. My goodness, that's got to be so tough. So make sure you do wind down. If you do have a high stress job as well, that can take its toll if you're not sleeping. So that does uh, affect your energy expenditure during the day. So when you've got more, had more sleep, more energy, you'll notice I'm talking, moving my body more rather than someone that's quite tired, might just talk a bit slower, move around a little bit slower. They're not using as much energy through the day. So that's where sleep is important. Uh, for now, I think keep it up. Maybe your takeaway for the week will be, I think it's time to start tracking those meals again. When we get halfway through a challenge, we can tend to go off the rails a little bit. So let's rein it in, track those calories, get excited. Let's see some um, movement in the, in the scales or around the measurements as well. Any questions, you just come see me or message me. Thanks.